So this is a circle. Just cut a circle depending on how big you want to fasten it to be. This is a circle of 3.5 inch all around on all edges. So mark the square point. Then I slashed open from here to the midpoint, just one place, so that it will be easy for me to fold to create my fascinator base. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to apply glue to it and cover it with fabric. So I'm going to use this for the inner piece of my fascinator. So I'll just trace out. That circle, that midpoint, this opening. So I trace it out to mark it. So I can slash it open on this one too. But then trace this out like this. Just the circle that I have. And see my circle. So I don't know if it's clear enough. This is the slash I'm going to have. So I'm going to trace out the circle. have this i've not slashed it but before i slash it i want this to be the inner piece and i don't want it to come out at the edge at all so i'm going to trim it out a little by 0.25 inch on round so i'm going to take it in by 0.25 inch all round you can use your tip roll if you're not sure how to get your 0.25 inch so like so Okay, so I'm done. So I'm going to take my slash in. I'm going to slash this place. So this is my inner piece. And see, so if I do this like this, and do this like this, so the inner piece is in. You see, it's not coming out on the outside. Can you see it now? So this is what I want to achieve. So this is my fascinator base. Can you see? Okay, so the next step is to apply glue and cover it with fabric. I'm applying glue. I've applied glue like this. So I'll place it. And just trace it out, leaving at least 0.5 inch on the edges that I'll use to fold inward. So, this is the lining piece. You can either use a waterproof lining or something else, but this is the lining piece. sure it is smooth enough and I'm tracing out that my this place I slashed because I already attached gum is not showing here so I want to slash it open on the lining as well so I can easily fold back then I'm done so this I'm going to Apply glue on the inside and fold the edges in into the pattern. choose to wear a glove to do this so your hands don't get messy and choose to wear a glove so your hands don't get messy okay so i'm done with this piece what i need to do now is to do the same thing on the outer piece So 
this is going to be like this now okay so you can see the inside so i'm going to do the same on this piece so i've gotten my gum applicator so all my hands will not be so messy at the end of this project so i'm working with a lace fabric so because i don't want to place the lace directly on this i'll first of all put something else so i'll cover with this first i don't want the savage to be on the fabric okay so this is better i'm going to cover with this and cut it out leaving 0 0.5 inch okay so i'm done with this Side together, so this is it. So, this is this. I'm going to cover this again, so don't worry about the edges. If I was not covering, I would have ensured that the fabric is going in. But since I'm going to still cover it, this, this is not going to show. I'm going to still stitch on it and cover it. So, now I'm going to place this like this and apply gum and put them together let's do it so i have this to separate so i'm going to apply glue inside now and place it in when you apply the glue light to dry a little before you place it Okay, so here, let's do it carefully. If you have a strong sewing machine, you can decide to sew these two edges together but otherwise this can work is sufficient enough to keep the fascinator base in place okay so this is it so this is uh, fascinator base. I'm going to still cover with fabric so all these rough edges will be okay so this is a fascinator base okay. so the next step is this is the lace I want to put on it so you place it on it make sure it has excess then turn around leaving like one inch above around it rather so is at least one inch around the fascinator. So what I want to do is to fold all this in. I'm not applying gum this time. I'm using needle and thread to do this. 